Welcome back to the world of Emerald. Now, what we're gonna wanna do here is go back to Route 119 and find ourselves the Weather Institute. We're gonna wanna go there after beating the game because there's something interesting for you there, or rather, you, there's something you need to do here to trigger something in another area that has something interesting there and not here. But this is the starting point. This is the domino in which it tips stuff over and makes a thing happen and stuff. Just talk to this guy. I track weather patterns over the Hoenn region. Present, presently, presently, a drought has been recorded in Route 114. Could that mean somewhere near Route 114? Now, that was sort of the one I was hoping not to get just because I wasn't uh, prepared for it in my party, but he'll tell you either there's a drought on Route 114 or there's like something else happening uh, somewhere else. That was a really great description. But the one Route 114 it requires us to have a Pokemon with dives, so I'm gonna go ahead and need to do that. And you're actually on a bit of a time limit. If you take too long to do this, then this Pokemon's gonna disappear. So what we need to do is run over to the Pokemon Center and get somebody who knows Dive. I don't want to teach it to anyone of my team currently because uh, I'd rather not have that. So who's gonna be the sucker that's gonna help us out as an HM slave? Our only water type is Love Disc. You better be able to know Sick and Dive or sort of God. All right, so we're gonna switch out Waylord. I think he'll be the least useful. And yeah, all my Pokemon are level 60 now. We'll get into why that is a bit later. Oh, we have Relicanth, so if Love Disc lets me down, then I know who to turn to. Let's go ahead and TM and HMs. We are going to go all the way down here and learn Dive. And I guess I also have to teach Love Disc Surf now because uh, Waylord is gone. You do not deserve four moves, Love Disc. I got you just for a stinking heart scale and nothing else. Uh, Why am I even taking this in consideration? I don't care. One, two, and poof, got rid of Water Gun and learned Dive. And now I gotta teach it Surf, just because it's so darn special. Hurry, the Fruit Up Love Disc. Just wanna complain because it's the cool thing to do on the street, apparently, to make fun of Love Disc. Got rid of Agility and learned Surf. Now that's taken care of, let's see if we can make our way to Route 114 and find this mysterious occurrence. Get it? A current? Because he said there was like water and stuff, like current? Uh, whatever. Get out of here! Let's go! Set sail to Moss Deep! And it seems I took too long. Normally it's supposed to be like heavy thunder, heavy rain. Jason, Sean, reference, insert it here. Normally there's supposed to be a bunch of heavy rain here and there's supposed to be a dive spot that isn't originally here. But it seems I took too long. Just getting Love Disc out of the PC made it disappear. So that's even more reason why Love Disc is the worst Pokemon ever. So what we gotta do is go back to Fortree City and go back to the talk to the guy. He'll either tell us of a different Pokemon or he'll tell us that this one's respawned again. We'll see. Back over here to this dude. I track weather patterns over the Hoenn region. Presently a drought has been recorded in Route 115. Could it mean that somewhere near Route 115? Does it change location or was I just Wrong to begin with? Huh. Did it move or am I just really stupid and I read it wrong the first time? I'll have to look back on the recording. Oh, now I'm self conscious about that. So let's see, where is Route 115? 31. The low numbers are here. It must have been. Uh, it must have moved. There's no way. I didn't know it could move in different locations. I thought it was only in one area. Where's Route 115? He said a, oh wait no, he said a drought. So that's a lack of water. So no, it is the different Pokemon. So what we need to do is go to, where the fruit is it? Oh, Verdenderp Town, there you go. Herpenderp Town. I don't know how I want the entire LP without calling it Herpenderp Town. But whatever, you're gonna wanna do is go here. And I don't even have the time to get rid of stinging Love Disc. So we're just gonna take it with us as we go in here and we're gonna make sure it dies a horrible death in whatever we're about to face. If we could get there, we're gonna wanna do is go in here. Do not need any Pokemon with any special HMs. Just go over in this entrance to this dead end area. I believe we got some black glasses here originally. And, jeez, that time limit is tight. My God. Is it that like, is the fact that I flew here what makes it disappear so quickly or? Cause I know with like roaming legendaries in the later games, if you fly to try and reach them, cause they actually show you where they are on the map, but just not which one, then it like disappears. But that was insanely quick. There's no way that they expect you to get there that quickly and I just messed up on it. 
Heavy rainfall, 125. Okay, back in, coming full circle. Just gonna go straight there. No questions asked. Just hurry up. Wish I could run indoors, but now you can't. So, is it seriously just my fault for like messing up because I couldn't find where it was on the map? Let's just see what happens when I get a flawless stinking transportation cycle. See what happens. Fly all the way to Moss Deep. The reason I thought we were in like a uh, Sutopolis or whatever the city is that is in like a closed off water area and I thought we had to like dive out here which is why I went south before. It's really confusing. Just ride our bike up here and get stuck and get stuck again and again and again. Hurry up and serve. I swear to god we have to use a water type or something. Okay no we made it. Okay cool. Heavy rain. Just what I always wanted to see. So if we can make it across here, I don't think it'll disappear while we're on the map. Though knowing my luck, it probably will. Go over here. And I believe it's around here somewhere. There's supposed to be like a dive spot that was in here originally. I guess not. Uh, we gotta go search for one. Uh, well, at least we got the heavy rain. That's what matters most. I'm afraid to go into that cave. You know what? I'm just gonna look it up real quick so I can be absolutely 100% sure. Sorry for this being completely unprepared. It should be right there already. Or is this, am I, I'm looking at a picture of it. It's identical to where I am right now. Is it just a different area? Well, I got the heavy rain though. That's what matters. So use a super repel. And I guess I just have to search for it. Let's go surf on the water. Huh, this is really sinking weird. At least we got the heavy rain, so I know I'm not, um, too late. Just, uh, search for a surf spot that wasn't originally here. I'm just worried that I'll accidentally go to a different route, uh, if I wander too far off. And then it'll make the guy disappear. This one? We'll try it, I guess. Love disc use dive. Under the sea! Yeah, I just need to have something to cheer me up right now. See if this is the right place. Uh, something tells me it isn't, but let's go ahead. Marine cave. Got a whole lot of nothing, it seems. Just a bunch of empty space and repels weren't wearing off. Okay, never mind. This is definitely correct. So what exactly is waiting for us here? What caused that heavy torrential rain? What is the cause of all this weird weather commotion? It is none other than the one and only Kyogre. And it looks like Gyarados! I'm gonna suddenly regret not th having this not be a roaming legendary because I do not want to go ahead and catch this thing after the atrocity that was catching Rayquaza. Kyogre is the legendary Pokemon of Alpha Sapphire and regular Sapphire, I guess. It's the blue legendary Pokemon that is the ruler of the sea. So I, I don't even know what to say about this thing. It's a stinking water legendary. It's the king of the water game. I don't even know. What we need to do is just go ahead and set up with a double team. I don't really know why I have Swellow out in front, but whatever. Hopefully our higher levels will uh, make us a little bit more likely to survive and stuff. Kyogre and Groudon are not nearly as d destructively evil to deal with as Rayquaza is, thankfully. So it won't be as difficult as that in terms of just staying alive. But in terms of- Oh jeez, that's Sheer Cold! Okay, maybe it will be difficult to stay alive. Sheer Cold is a one-hit KO move. It has 30% accuracy. Or is it 30 or 50? Either way, it's low accuracy, and it only works if you're a higher level than the uh, person you're trying to use it on. So, now we're just going to use Return. Uh, let's see how much damage that does. This is another thing. I don't know how much damage all my Pokemon do to this thing, so... I'm um, just sort of having to guess to make- Jesus Christ! What? Really? Really? Okay, Swellow! Way to give me a stinging heart attack and- Wow. Guess we're having cold turkey tonight. Sheer cold. It's a one-hit KO. It's a move that served me well back in the old days, but those times are long gone. Use next Pokemon. Uh, you know what, Love Disc? This is all your fault for making us like wait this thing alone. So you get out there and do whatever it is you do. Looks so singing floppy. Rain continues to fall, so of course the wa the rain's gonna increase its water attacks, weaken fire attacks, and all that jazz. We just need to hurry up and try to catch this thing. I do have uh, 30 Ultra Balls, a Repeat Ball, uh, some Pokeballs, and a Great Ball. 
Uh, we always got to start out with the funny one, I guess. Let's go ahead and do that. And of course it didn't work. Hoorah! I always loved in like the anime how um, the plot with Kyogre and Groudon, it's weird that they don't have their own movie, they're just integrated into the anime. But um, with Kyogre and Groudon, it's weird that um, Team Aqua and Team Magma, and it happens in the games too, I don't know why I'm just saying just in the anime, how they are confused as to why they have these orbs that are supposed to control the legendary Pokemon they're looking for, but then they be they become so dumbfounded, be like, what? It doesn't work? Oh, it turns out this is the orb for the different legendary Pokemon. Yeah, they thought that the red orb would control Kyogre and the blue orb would control Groudon. Like, really? Is that really? What you okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. Trico. Well, I don't really need to do anything. It's just a matter of trying to catch it now. So let's go with uh, Ultra Ball, I guess. I'm done being funny. I just want to catch this thing. I've had enough legendary torture with the Stingin' Ray Quaz. That took three stinking days to do. And Sheer Cold. Sheer Cold only has 5 PP. I believe to use 3 of it now, so soon we'll be done with this stinking thing. Hello, Focus Band! Alright! That's stinking awesome! Trico, you're the stinking best. Nuts to anyone who says having an unevolved starter Pokemon isn't good or cool or anything like that. Trico's the stinking best. I'm surprised the Focus Band actually worked. My god, it only sometimes uh, survives you from a one-hit KO. It's not like a Focus Sash. And there goes Hydro Pump. And there goes Trico. So we're gonna send out who's next on the lunch list. We'll go with Torkoal. I wish I could use a uh, Body Slam to paralyze it, but unfortunately Soil just did way too much damage on the first turn. If I end up having to redo this fight, I'll probably uh, do a thingy. I'll switch around the Pokemans. Uh, let's go with an Ultra Ball again. I remember uh, using a repeat ball was actually super easy. I remember in Diamond and Pearl, I, uh, cause you caught Palkia on that one, and it, it has rest. Oh my god, I didn't think it had rest. Rest is the bane of my stinking existence when trying to catch stinking legendaries. Oh well, now we have a re we have a, a possibility to use stinking Body Slam on it, but it can't get paralyzed while it's asleep. Oh, I didn't think it had that. That was I'm, I'm, it's all coming back to me now. That was the most annoying thing about stinking Rayquaza is that it kept healing itself. Legendaries that heal themselves are stinking jerks. The fact that it could just wake up right now, and I think uh, Kyogre's special ability is that it makes it always rain, so it's never gonna stop. And Sheer Cold didn't work, thankfully. Body Slam, come on, give me paralysis, give me that paralysis. It didn't work. Rain, rain, rain. Yeah, Kyogre's ability makes it so it's always raining, so don't count on that running out. Torkoal, is your defense awesome enough to survive a Hydro Pump from a god? No, it's not. Well, it is in yellow health now, so I could use uh, Salabai's Confuse Ray, so that's nice at least, but can't use it, uh, can't rely on it for too long because if it's on low HP and I end up confusing it, then that's not very good. Uh, double edge. It doesn't affect Salabi because I'm a ghost type. I don't know why you bothered using that. Did it run out of PP? So, a lot of its moves are just five. So, eventually it'll just be double edge and rest. So, if you want to get rid of the sheer cold and the hydro pumps and then send out a ghost type, then it, all it could do is rest because it won't hurt with double edge. So, that's an interesting tactic that I could keep track of in the future. So, might be a bit easier to catch this thing than I thought. Just a matter of whether or not the balls will cooperate. That was a great singing sentence. Go with the Ultra Ball! I know it's only yellow health, not red health, but still, it's confused. I feel confident. I'm gonna continue a run on sentence as it shakes around, and then as soon as I acknowledge it, it breaks out. Cool. And... Oh, of course it heals itself. <sighs> so this is what I was saying about sinking legendary, or catching Pokemon mechanic. Like, I'm okay with the concept of them changing it in the future with, like, Pokemon Go or whatever. But the fact that it's still luck-based is what makes me not like it. If it wasn't a luck-based thing, then I'd be okay with them changing it, but it, it's still luck-based, so I don't care. Like, I wish it was just like a very epic battle with a Pokemon, like they were just unusually strong in the wild, and you had to defeat them. And if you beat them, then you had the option to catch it. I wish that's how it worked, because like, let's be honest, after you... Well, I guess unless you're going for a catch-em-all run, how often do you fight wild Pokemon when trying to do off-screen training? Like, Maybe that's, no, that's not true, because, like, I know people who just really hate, uh, trainer battles, who just, like, actively avoid them, but 
when you eventually have to go do off-screen training, I call off-screen training as if, as if everyone's a Let's Player, but then again, everyone is nowadays. But, oh, they're still confused even though he was asleep. That's interesting. Hydro Pump, so he still had one more. I don't know why he wouldn't use Double Edge then. Uh, Saddle Bike, you survived this? No, oh, critical hit, so I'll never know if it was actually strong enough or not. Next Pokemon, send out Hariyama! Let's go ahead and get that free damage in. I don't know, like, the calculations as to whether or not when Confusion disappears, so is it gone now? Or if I go ahead and use it, will it continue to have it? I have no idea how that works. Uh, fake out, get that free damage. So it might still be confused, though I think the turns have run out to where it could. it's impossible for it to be confused this long, I have no idea. Whatever, let's go ahead and use an Ultra Ball, see what happens. But what does he even talk about? Is like catching Pokemon and stuff, and speaking of- no. <laughs> let's talk about catching Pokemon, and... I really just completely lost track of everything, I'm just the worst Let's Player ever. I don't care, I just want to catch this thing! I'm done to my last thing in Pokemon. This is not good. Let's see if we can get it. Hit C, like the sea. Legendary water and sea and sky. You may not win, but we sure can try. Uh, sheer cold. You had another one?! And that's the end, because death and stuff. Cool. Literally. We're gonna be here a while. Okay, no, heavy rate one, wait, what? Heavy rainfall one, two, seven, okay. So it does indeed change routes. I know that the dive spot changes now, but it does indeed change routes. So that's interesting, but yeah, I was sort of worried that because I didn't catch it, like it would just disappear from the game forever, but that's not the case. So we are okay to just keep on going after it. So from here onward, from now on, no. From here onward, I will just go ahead after whatever Pokemon's available to me and uh, just not make a big deal out of it and stuff. Sorry if that's sort of weird, but like it's like we're going back and forth. We'll see which one I end up catching first. Let's just run down here into the water, into the deep blue sea. And make it to 127. Thank you. And I'm gonna assume this is the dive spot we're looking for, just because it's the first one I see. This is a really long pathway. I'm starting to think this is the wrong area. Where the fruit is it? I do not know. And I'm going to lose my oxygen eventually. I wish you could run underwater, but you cannot because that would not make sense very much. Where the fruit do I go before I stop thinking of things to say? Oh wait, no, 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 I went to- oh jeez. Let's run from above. Yeah, we should probably go up. Still heavy rainfall. No, 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 not 128, not 128. Get out of here. Go! Did not mean to do that, god darn it. I'm gonna assume it's not this dive spot just because it's so stinking huge. Uh, what else could it be then? Just go around here. I'm gonna look for a teeny dive spot. Any teeny dive spots around here? This one's pretty teeny. Come on, teeny, let's go in here! Underwater, thank you. This seems more appropriate. And back in Marine Cave. Okay, we're back in Marine Cave, as I just said. But now, let's see if we can catch this stinking thing. It'd be great if it kept its HP lowered and lack of PP from last time we saw it. But no, it just has a magical underwater nurse joy in its dis at its disposal, apparently. Because it just gets magically fully healed just by hanging out around in the open area. I wish I could get magically healed like that, but no. Not like I'm the savior of the Hoenn region and the champion of the Pokemon League or anything like that. No, why would I get any sort of special treatment? And I just realized I forgot to do my tactic of... Thing of Mahoozies. Go ahead and just use Double Team, I guess. If I could just get it to waste all of its sheer colds and Hydro Pumps on Swellow. That's a good tactic to start out with, so it's not too terrible I'm starting with Swellow. Rain continues to fall, but to use that Double Edge, I want you to use your Hydro Pumps and your sheer colds, buddy. Keep on doing double team, making it more and more difficult. It's like they're not accurate moves to begin with, so I should be good. But I think, uh, does Hydro Pump get more accuracy in the rain? I don't think it does. I think it just gets stronger, but 
I think I would try using rest on the first turn. Uh, let's see, I'm okay with you wasting PP on rest as well, but come on, use your hydro pumps and sheer cold. Do you not want cold turkey? Did it not taste that good or something like that? Come on, Kyogre. Use one more. I remember when I was like doing off-screen training. Uh, my idea for off-screen training was that I just bought all the items that I needed um, for like the rest of the game. And then I just went through the Elite Four and it was okay if I lost to them. I always went in with only one or two Pokemon. And I just sort of dealt with it because um, it was just sort of the easiest thing to do. Uh, the easiest uh, level ups to get. Uh, something else about the Elite Four, we're not going to be showing it, but you could fight Wally again in Victory Road after you beat the Elite Four and he gets like more levels every time you fight him. You can find him like, up to like four times before he just stops gaining levels. So that's kind of an interesting thing. And hello, Sheer Cold. Thank you for missing. Go ahead and use Body Slam. Can we get a paralysis in? Critical hit though, that's nice. I don't wanna, uh, something tells me like rain has something to do with paralysis not happening. I don't know if that's true or not. Thank you for using double edge. Uh, let's see, come on. I just wanna guarantee of that. Does rain prevent paralysis? Survey says, I have no stinking idea because that's no real guarantee. <laughs> I should probably just look it up. Or Teresa can tell you. Good morning. Uh, let's go ahead and use an Ultra Ball. It's a shame we got two criticals in a row, so I don't really know what the normal damage is, so I can't, like, calculate it. One, two. Oh, of course. Uh, double Edge. I do appreciate... Oh, wait, no, I don't appreciate the Double Edge because you could end up KOing yourself if you do that. Oh, especially with Torkoal because, like, it could take a hit. Well, I guess that's a good thing, because if it used Double Edge on a Pokemon that couldn't take a hit, it would take a lot more recoil damage, so... Huh, you could just never win with these things. One. Ugh. I guess a good idea... Oh, jeez. A good idea would be to send out a Pokemon without a lot of HP, like Trico or Love Disk, so... Uh, I guess you could get away with it in that sense, so it won't take that much recoil damage. Come on, Ultra Ball! One. Two. Three! Oh! I really hope I can catch this thing. Like, legendary Pokemon. I'm sorry I go on this rant every single Pokemon LP, but in, for someone who hates catching Pokemon so much, you'd think Pokemon Coliseum and XD would not be my favorite, would be like my least favorite Pokemon games, but they end up being my favorite somehow. I don't know how that works, but whatever. <sighs> I don't know. It's just those Pokemon are easy to catch, and like, it seems like a lot more high stakes and stuff. This, like, when catching legendaries in the main game is just like, oh, let's catch it because it's here and stuff. Like, there's no real pressing need to catch it. It's just for the sake of catching it. It's just hanging out in the wild and stuff. But with the shadow Pokemon, there's like a need to save them and stuff that you want to catch it so you could uh, start healing them and recover from the shadow Pokemon treatment. So I actually want to catch them and like I feel good about catching them. But with this, like, we just showed up at Kyogre's front door because he was having a wild party and I caught wind of it and I'm just trying to catch him now. So that's just my take on it. Sorry if that uh, just seems wrong or whatever, if I'm ruining your Pokemon experience or whatever. But that's just how I always saw it. So sorry, I'm try and catch the stinking thing. Uh, Hydro Pump again. Trico, can you survive all water from a whale? Oh, wait, I forgot about that thing. I was like, uh, completely forgot. Focus Band. You are the best. Can't believe it survived sheer cold with sinking focus band. That's amazing. Uh, use Ultra Ball. I don't want to say it like that. Ultra Ball. And doesn't even shake. Double edge. Uh, okay, I, I appreciate a one HP double edge. You could survive twice with that. Jeez. Uh, did it get recoil damage? I don't even think it did because I didn't take any damage from that. Technically, that's funny. Ultra Ball! Oh, nothing. Using Sheer Cold! I swear to god, if I survive this, it'll be amazing. Come on, Trico! Aw, oh, unfortunately not. A one hit KO, more like a one HP KO. Let's go switch to Salabi or. Hmm. Salabi, because Hariyama could get a fake out in if it ends up healing later on. I wish I didn't say that out loud, because now the idea is in its uh, soggy big head. Uh, let's see, come on, Ultra Ball, do your thing. Please do, do your thing, do your thing. He doesn't like that something again, who does? And Salabi's dead. 
Uh, I should probably use revives and stuff. Maybe I don't have enough revives for the rest of the game. I'm kind of low on money, and there's still like a couple things I still need to do. I guess I could just reset, because uh, the Pokemon are still here, so that's good. I don't need to worry about that stuff. It's just a matter of... Uh, if I run out of Pokeballs or Ultra Balls, then I'll probably reset I'll reset the game at that point just so I don't have to buy them over and over again. For now, we're gonna keep on going. Ultra Ball. And doesn't even shake. Don't use Sheer Cold. Okay, thank you. Can you survive this, Hariyama? I would very much appreciate if you did. And... Wow, wow, wow. That's regular damage. Cool. Well, it's the party that just keeps on going. You know what I just realized? I was talking about how I don't have any money anymore. After I catch this one legendary, I'm gonna run out. I'm gonna have little to no Ultra Balls to catch the other one. I'll think about that when I get to it, but for now, we'll just keep on trying. Risky business there. Oh god. Oh dip. Oh boy, I guess having Hariyama out is not a good idea in general. I'm just having it use Double Edge in general is not a good idea. I've been getting lucky up to this point. Let's see if we can catch this thing so we don't have to worry about this later on. And of course it doesn't work. Thank you for not using Double Edge. Maybe it knows it. Uh, the, nah, Wild Pokemon are never that smart. Or maybe they are that smart and they don't want to be caught by me so they purposely KO themselves. Uh, can't use any of these Pokemon to, to, like, do status inflictions because, uh, it's red health. So, it's not our weakest Pokemon, so it takes the least amount of damage from recoil if you use the double edge. And we'll just keep on chucking some balls. Hmm. Hydro Pump, yay! Down goes Love Disc. Because I hate this thing. Okay, Kyogre, I think I get it now. You're a man of style. You're a Pokemon of style, is that it? You just don't want to be caught in an Ultra Ball because it's not aesthetically pleasing with the, with the whole look you got going on. But a Great Ball, on the other hand, it was basically made for you. Look, it's blue with little red outlines a little bit. It looks perfect. It was stinking made for you, Kyogre. So, let's go ahead and give you the Pokeball that you oh so desire. I seriously thought... No, I didn't. Uh, I'm, I'm used to it by now, how oh, that never stinking works. So now it's asleep. And I could start doing some other things now. Uh, let's try revive on Swallow. I guess the cool thing is I don't need to heal anyone because everyone dies in one hit anyway. Uh, let's see, so Trico, what do I want you to do? It is pure water type. We'll try Giga Drain, see what that does. I swear if you want to KO, that'd be something. That would be something indeed. Sucking the life out of that big old whale. See, it's not a happy whale, it's just like a legendary whale, not as cool as Waylord. And I didn't want to bring Waylord here because I, th I thought that uh, it, would, it would get a bit embarrassed because obviously we got the better whale, so. Just trying to make you feel welcomed and happy and not self-conscious about how you're not the best whale. See, I'm looking out for you, buddy. Even if you don't like me, I still like you. So why don't you just let me capture you? Just just let me do it, please. Oh, Jesus! Trico! Remember when I said I wanted... No, what? Just why? 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 Okay, so it seems that Kyogre will indeed disappear if you KO it. If it KOs you, then it'll still be here, but if you KO it, then it disappears forever. So I had to reset, which was all good, I guess, because I needed more Pokeballs in the end. So I guess that was my way of getting around it. So I guess I'll just save right here, which is, I guess, the smart idea to do. So I don't have to keep on resetting, keep on walking back to the Sting Weather Insta 2 over and over again. And I'll just see if I can catch this stinking thing. Give me a stinking minute. Oh goody, here's the obligatory struggle segment of every legendary Pokemon capturing adventure. So here's the good thing. If it misses, it doesn't take recoil damage. And I do have five stinking double teams up, so 
there are good, very good chances of it just missing over and over again. So I could survive with this a bit longer than I thought I would. I would. But now it's just a matter of actually catching the stinking thing. You know, technically, in another dimension, I have caught Kyogre before. Maybe this counts? Amazing! God darn it, you can't taunt me like that! Ugh. Ugh. In case you're wondering, no struggle is not a normal attack, it's a typeless attack, so I'm pretty sure Salabi will still get hit by this. You have one HP. Still too much. You're still alive, wow. <sighs> Tis the season to be cranky. First time getting to have parafusion on this thing, so maybe things will be a bit easier this time. Uh, that's exactly what someone would say if things weren't going to be any easier this time. As I will now demonstrate. Oh hey, it actually worked. Well, let's see if it worked in the catching department. Survey says... Survey says... Not just a voice crack, it was a ball crack. Then again, wouldn't a ball crack... And eh, no, it goes reverse puberty, that's how it works. Whatever, this is a very weird conversation. And everything's healed. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of this. I was like... I was thinking of the fact that all my Pokemon are males, so like, what would their group name be? And the first thing that comes to mind is like a parody of the Breakfast Club, but instead the Brofist Club. That's all I got, really. I don't know why I thought of that so stinking quickly, but okay. Why do you gotta be dead right now? Not a good time for that. Is it gonna survive or not? Like, I'm in a really bad situation here. Just please don't use double edge. Sheer cold, and it missed. Hooray, Love Disc survived a turn. Maybe that means we're gonna have a turn of events. On a scale of 1 to 10, how quickly did you see that coming? Survive two turns! Ooh, love disc! You're being cool! Except not really, you're just lucking out really hard. And it bothers me that I don't see, like, your lips in your back sprite. It looks like it got cut off or something like that. I don't know. Uh... Now that I know that revive can indeed... Uh... I mean... Torkoal can paralyze Kyogre, because I was always, like, questioning it, because it wasn't stinking happening. <sighs> A good tactic would be to hit... Uh... Oh, if it was... If it had a gender, oh my god, that would be fun to use a tract on a legendary. Ugh, you know how much it helps me out in other Pokemon games? No, it's a good idea to do just a little bit of damage to it so it could put itself back to sleep with rest if it wants to. You know what, Love Disc? You survived this long. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and think that there's some sort of crazy luck going on. So, let's see if I can catch you with a Pokeball with Love Disc on the field. Nope. <laughs> You're not that great, Love Disc. Or you are, okay. Maybe you just want to have a full health, a uh, sleepy capture with a Pokeball and a Love Disc. Let's see if that works. Let's see if it doesn't work. This is not going to work. I was hoping to reverse psychology. Yeah, I guess it caught on real quick. <sighs> okay, I'll stop being obnoxious. Just 
try and catch the stinking thing. Why do you do this to me so much? I don't understand how it always works for you. Whenever I do that with Swallow. Oh my god, it didn't take three stinking days, but it took three stinking hours. Jesus stinking Christ, what the fruits are basin anyway? We got stinking Kyogre. Kyogre, the sea basin Pokemon. Kyogre has appeared in mythology as the creator of the sea. After long years of feuding with Groudon, it took to sleep at the bottom of the sea. <sighs> I want to give it a nickname. Backup food. My stinking god. Alright. We got stinking Kyogre. My wish is that I get everything I need recorded for Delta Emerald on the Emerald side of things recorded today. If I could do that, I'd be a happy camper. If not, then I'm going to be a sad sandwich. It's a very weird way of wording it. But whatever. We got stinking Kyogre on last. Now we just got to get the heck out of here. 